Hello? Yes? Yes? Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, this is Luna reporting live from Kalmaha here at the docks. Uh, we are just settling down for the evening, having a lovely meal here in the evening. Uh, but uh, I'm joined by uh, quite a lovely array of people, uh, one of which is someone I have not yet encountered before. Um, the lovely Miss Drexler, is it? Hello, how are you? Oh, he- hello. Uh, it's so interesting to hear such a interesting voice. Uh, my apologies for being a little abrupt. It's just a, a, you are fey, right? No, not a fey. I'm a demon. Oh, uh, um, I've seen some demon before and they're not quite as small as you, but uh, you, you seem more like a fairy to me. Is that quite right? No, I don't know anything about that. Uh, well, my, my mom and papa always say I'm a demon. Okay, well, I'll take you at your word for now. It's just, you know, I hope you don't mind my prying. It's it's just a little strange to see uh, possible fairies or fae in the area. You know, it's a little uh, alarming, but I just had to ask. Thank you so much. I'm kind of scared of them too, but I've never seen them either. It's just... My mom papa told me to avoid them. Oh, uh, understood. And I, I see you don't really have, like, typical fairy wings, so to speak. They're, they're sort of mechanical there, so that really backs you up right there. Yeah, being so little, Papa made these for me so I could, I could hide from stuff, you know, snakes and kitties and stuff like that. Oh, that's quite good. Oh, your your father, um, is is your father also as, as small as you? No, he's, he's bigger than me, but I'm still young. I'm little. Oh, oh well, oh, all right. So uh, that—that's probably where you got the demon side from, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, that's good. That's good. And you know, uh, how did you end up here, per se? Um, I—I've I, been here for a while, and I just wanted to come see all the animals and stuff, and stay away from the people. So they, they don't really like me too much either. Oh, uh, that well, that's I can totally agree with that i'm completely on board with that it's why i came here too i'm on vacation it's quite lovely uh, but i'm doing a little reporting on the side just for fun uh, but it's lovely to hear that somebody else share this shares the same sentiment uh, but is there anything else that you're doing here um, i'll be waiting for a ship to come in i saw the, the ship with the with the blue lizard guy uh-huh. came in and you know, I got some really cool schematics here, and oh. I, I told him about them. Oh, I was on that ship. Yes, yes, he's right over there by the fire. Yeah, he said I could join his crew, so I <gasps> oh. took an oath, and, and here I am. Oh, oh, you're part of a crew now. Oh, that's quite interesting. Um, And, and uh, do you have a special assignment on this crew? Um, well, I'm, I'm supposed to upgrade the ship and make it, make it better. Oh wow! And such a large ship at that. How how do you manage being such a small uh, sort of creature? You know, it's it must be tough having to do all sorts of repairs and upgrades. It is, but I'm pretty strong, though. I, I can move stuff, and I get other people, and they build the stuff for me. And I just tell them what to do, and we get it done. Oh well, that's quite inventive. That's so interesting. I would love to see you at work. See what kinds of wonders you can you can come up with. That's wonderful. Uh, is there perhaps anything that you could show us, some sort of uh, uh, invention that, that you can give us a demonstration of real quick? Well, I have my wings, and they, 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 I could fly around. And oh, oh my, well, that's true. That's true. That is quite... My gloves, and I have a grappling hook that I can, I can push stuff to me and pull myself the stuff. And... Oh, well, that's quite fantastic. It, I have seen sometimes spells do this sort of... I don't know, effect, but I've never quite seen a, a sort of mechanism be able to achieve that. That's quite wonderful and inventive. Yeah, I, I don't really have any magic, so I just watch things that other people do, and then I try and figure out how I can do it better. Oh, well, that's quite resilient. Um, that's extremely wonderful. I think that's a great way to look at the world. Uh, and, you know, I just wanted to sort of get your perspective on... While you're here, you're joining us, obviously, on our way to uh, the great city so that we can join the festival. Um, are you hoping to ply your wares there since this isn't really sort of a technologically, um, uh, you know, loving sort of society? Yeah, I, I was a little disappointed coming here. These people are mm. pretty, pretty backwards. They don't, they don't have much here. <laughs> well, I, I, I find stuff, I find stuff that people just leave around that they really don't care about. And I'm <laughs> opposite, maybe they score little clockworks. And, and I can sell those. And 
Well, on the bright side, at least there's no competition, right? You're the only game in town. That is true. There's nobody else like me. Yes, and and if you can really make a name for yourself, I imagine you can gain a wonderful sort of business with your with your wares. I hope so. I'm not not trying to attract too much attention there, because you know, I I think the the human people are looking for me, but that's why I found you guys, and you can protect me, and I can protect you, and. Oh wow! People, yeah. people are looking for you there. Oh, oh, oh! I'm sorry. Are we not supposed to speak about that? Yeah, probably just just watch out for any humans walking around. There's many humans, and you, you might see them. Oh, oh, oh all right. Well, I'll I'll definitely keep an eye out. But is there anything you can tell us about the? I mean, you're so small. How have you not been caught before? What kind of challenges have you faced? Well, I'm pretty sneaky, and I can fly too, so they don't really know where to look for me. Uh huh. I just hide a lot. Well, I, I've got to say that, I believe, is where your size comes in extremely handy. You can always pop in and out of places and not really be noticed. Mm-hmm. That, well, that's quite good. Uh, do you have any sorts of plans on how to eventually, you know, uh, you know, get away from these people permanently? Um, I, just, I just hope they don't find me. Um, that's why I'm on the ship, because they can't find me on the ship. And I, I can, you know, hide in, hopefully in the Tobias's wagon. Oh, well, that's true. There, There's plenty of little nooks and crannies in there. I'm sure you can find uh, someplace quite cozy. Oh. Uh, uh, I hope you ask his permission first, though. <laughs> I'll, I'll work on that. He'll be okay with that. Oh, oh all right. I, I assume you'll work it all out, you know. You, you've you've got a good head on your shoulders, I believe. Yeah, I'm in there for but he hasn't noticed yet. Oh, <laughs> well, if you know, if you don't want me to say anything, I will keep mum's the word on me. Oh. <laughs> all right, not a problem at all. It's um, you know, reporter reportee confidentiality there. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me here, Drexler. I was really happy to talk to you tonight. Thank you, Nana. <laughs> thank you so much. And now I'm going to take it over to your player, Dan, and uh, have yourself a good night. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> so Dan that was a wonderful sort of interview with your character Drexler <laughs> yes, <laughs> can you was. give us a sort of insight into um, what prompted you to make someone like her that sort of mad scientist inventor type it was just something new I've, I've been playing D&D since the 80s in high school uh, yeah. I started and um, working my way up through second edition 3.5 on up to fifth edition you guys are, are really the first fifth edition campaign that table I've been part of. oh wow so while john was a, a new or sorry Ega was a new dm um i was i was a a, a new player to that too mm-hmm. but i still bring the experience in there and how things used to work <laughs> so that has caused some 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 issues trying to figure stuff out and <laughs> and that's part of having a really great dm is mm-hmm. we can we can approach Work things it it's like i have this better. idea of what i want to do and mm-hmm. then he decides whether we can do it or not or figures a work around to where we're both happy and oh that's that quite lovely that's seems good to have been pretty successful throughout the whole throughout the whole that's thing. good that's good and i'm looking forward to seeing all the sorts of crazy inventions that drexler can make <laughs> for everyone and for herself it's going yeah. to be wonderful i think and a little uh, dangerous perhaps to see if she blows anything up in the process it's just a matter of time <laughs> And you know, you you've mentioned you've been you've been playing Dungeons and Dragons, or rather tabletop games in general, uh, since the eighties. So you've been through quite a few games. Do you have any perhaps uh, favorite games that you played? Uh, favorite modules? Um, probably the um, Forgotten Realms and the the Ruins of Underdark. There's like mm. a, a two box set that they came out with back in the day that has like nine levels worth of caverns and wow. cities and all kinds of stuff. That was probably my favorite thing. So I'm I'm really partial to that. And then we did a lot of Forgotten Realm stuff in the, in the campaigns with you guys. That um, is wonderful. And now we're in building this new mm-hmm. world, Extraeus, which is a whole new experience with, yes. with new races <laughs> and new abilities and a new history and background. Mm-hmm. So that, that brings a lot of new excitement to, you know, I've been playing for a long time, yes. so it's hard to find new stuff under the sun. And so <laughs> you guys provide that. And talking about that, how does that feel having, you know, you have so much knowledge and so much uh, sort of a repertoire of, of things that you know about all, all sorts of tabletop games, including Dungeons and Dragons. How does that work with being faced with a new world that sort of is a little topsy turvy in terms of what the different races and species do? Um, like I said, it's, it's, I had come in with my ex- expectations and mm-hmm. I'm pleasantly surprised a lot of the time at, <laughs> at the, the twists that have been put onto everything. 
you know, <laughs> seeing like f- fighting flying orcas in, in the in the water. And it's like, what the <laughs> hell are these? You know, and they come flying over the ship and are trying to take our horse off the edge and everything. And, that is and then trying to figure out why they're flying and what's going on. And my character Drexla, she has to know how things work. So mm. it's driving her crazy that she, it's a, another magic thing that she has no access to that she's trying to trying to understand yes and how does that work you know how how does that work not having magic um do do the spells or rather the technology that you make is that comparable to spells it's it's comparable but it's on a a different plane just this like Mm -hmm. different spheres of magic are it's like batman right he he basically saw things he couldn't do and other people could do with Mm -hmm. with skills or special abilities and he was like i can do that with technology correct i quite like that i think that's a great way to approach it and you know uh you've also not only been playing for a long time but you've also been married for a long time and you have a family you have quite a big family how does that all work with playing uh, such a sort of immersive hours long game um my kids are all grown i have grandkids mm-hmm. now uh, but even when i was younger though mm-hmm. and playing my kids didn't really understand it but now that they're grown <laughs> they play they play ah, oh, and they good. play they play video games and they do all this all that mm-hmm. other kind of stuff and it's it's good family activity because i get together with my my two of my son-in-laws and ah. And they're friends, and I, I run another campaign on the side from this one, and I play in this one. And my wife's really understanding about my hobbies and stuff. Yeah, she pretty much lets wonderful. me do what I want. If it's something that she's interested <laughs> in, like Fortnite, she'll play Fortnite with me. That's great. Which makes us cool with the grandkids, because, you know, our, <laughs> in second the cool grade, grandparents. Like, my grandparents play Fortnite, and his kids are like, what? Your grandparents do what? <laughs> wonderful it's great to hear and i love that it brings your whole family together in different ways it does my daughter lives in the bay area mm-hmm. my other daughter she's working all the time and our my stepson and or my son mm-hmm. we get online and play Fortnite together and it's, it's just a good family activity when you don't get to see each other as much oh yes that is wonderful especially now with the connectivity online and everything making it a little easier oh yeah definitely uh, that's helpful um you know and do you have perhaps any tips for any players out there that you think you know with with the wisdom that you can give them anything that you would definitely say to someone that could help um just just be open to new things and mm. if, if you're getting into a campaign and, and you have a good dm that's really to work with you mm-hmm. just come to him with your ideas explain what you want to do and if it's possible for him to make it work then he will i mean you that he has to keep a balance with the rest of the players mm-hmm. and everything so he's, you, you can't not can be too powerful or anything <laughs> but i mean you find a good happy medium that way mm-hmm. everybody's happy and everybody brings their strengths and weaknesses like like Eric and Bog Bean and mm-hmm. you know they they just all bring a, a different perspective to everything mm-hmm. and, and Captain V's character because Bog Bean and Captain V are both, both this is their first real D and D campaign yeah. they're very fortunate to have mm-hmm. Eguile as their DM because oh, it's like you, you guys are are, <laughs> you. are spoiled because you don't understand <laughs> what you have here to have a DM that's willing to take you from level one all mm-hmm. the way to level twenty <laughs> and world build and help you know your character's vision come to light. Because it with, is a with tough our last job. character, or our last campaign where I was playing the Chris, the cleric, she wanted, she changed, she like pro- progressed and mm-hmm. grew throughout time. And yeah. at the end of it, she's like, I really want to be a god too. I want to ascend. Mm-hmm. So he worked with her on how to become a god in her own and right. And it happened. But unfortunately, she was responsible for all the other gods getting destroyed. But that's another story. Well, you know, there were reasons for some of those, uh, you know, things in certain actions and the gods hadn't exactly been very nice so yeah, you know they kind of had it coming <laughs> yeah so <laughs> uh, but thank you so much for joining me today on this wonderful interview uh it was really fun to have a nice perspective uh and also someone who plays uh, the gender bend characters quite often it was really fun as well thank you yeah that's just kind of like a, when i roll here it's like i'm gonna roll a, a, a d20 and you know 10 and below i'm a, a male and 11 above i'm a female and i just i just let it roll the chance that is cool. And I do a lot of that stuff with like what kind of character I want to mm-hmm. play too, because that that opens up to things that you wouldn't normally do. That is, and yes, gets you out of your comfort absolutely. Zone. I would agree. It makes it so much fun to just kind of randomize a little bit. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much. Have yourself a good night, and thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lena. <laughs> and uh, with that, I'm going to bring it back over to D and D wife and Dungeon Master Eagle for the rest of the show. <laughs> 